We now turn to the latest in the Sumotomo plant closure situation in Tonawanda. Last week came that shocking word for workers and all of us that the 100 year old tire plant would be closing, putting 1500 people out of a job. And tonight we're learning those workers are planning to take some action with the community. Two on your sides, Andy Payton has what is happening next for us. Whenever there was a problem at Sumitomo Rubber in the past. They've always come to us when New York State was proposing the HEAT Act. We were in Albany, we were hitting all the local politicians we could to try and help with that. But when it came to the 100-year-old plant's fate as a whole. So that's the real hard part is that there was no ask. The ask now among workers is to show that frustration in numbers calling on their entire workforce and politicians to gather tomorrow morning and call for the plant to remain open. I'm very upset to be, you know, I still wasn't notified yet. This was just, this, this will blindside everybody. Everybody's just finding out this morning. It comes just four days since workers found out that the rubber plant would be closing. Arriving to the plant Thursday with armed security, chains, and fencing up around the facility that many had been working at for decades. It was a gut punch. Joshua Hall is the workers' union president. It tells us Sumitomo told the workforce late last week that the decision to close stemmed from financial reasons. But emails obtained by two in your side tonight show a conflicting story, with management sending multiple emails to workers within the last month praising them for their record high performance. But that message of praise also coming when corporate had seemingly already decided to close the plant buying a domain name around the same time that would be used to announce the closure. I'm really mad because we've invested in Sumitomo. This new information only fueling the fire. All we had heard is that they were going to continue to invest and they love the plant, they love the workforce. And then all of a sudden you hear out of the blue that it's closing. With politicians now joining the calls on Sumitomo. It's a harsh corporate decision that's affecting 1,500 families directly in, in Erie and Niagara County. To see these workers and their needs. This just came out of nowhere without even giving us an opportunity to try and fix anything. Now we're told they do have plans to return to the bargaining table this week. The union, of course, trying to find a way to keep this plant open. Sumitomo's eyes more set on putting together a severance package. But for now, on your side here in the newsroom, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.